Fresh off the success of his latest blockbuster, Avatar The Way of Water, which raked in a whopping $441 million on its opening weekend and later would go on to over $2.32 billion worldwide, in between James Cameron spilled the beans on the Smartless podcast. The renowned writer-director shared that he's in talks to give his sci-fi action-horror Terminator franchise a facelift. Cameron emphasized that it's still in the consideration phase. Nothing is set in stone, but let's face it, the Terminator brand is just too good to be left gathering dust. So if a Terminator reboot is in the cards, here's a lowdown on how to do it right. Even with his plateful, ruling the box office for years to come, Cameron hasn't forgotten about his killer robot series that kick-started as a surprise hit in 1984 and blossomed into one of the biggest sci-fi franchises ever, grossing $78 million initially. After the success of The Terminator and its sequel, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which pulled in a whopping $515 million globally, the subsequent four movies didn't quite live up to the hype. Each new installment earned less than its predecessor, except for the underrated 2015 film Terminator Genesis, which managed to bring in $432 million on the smallest budget, $155 million, since Judgment Day. Despite this, Terminator still holds its ground and has massive potential. The franchise has amassed over $2 billion worldwide, although its combined production budgets of $816 million pose a bit of a challenge. The first number is decent, but the second is where the real issue lies. Let's dive into some ideas on how to give the Terminator franchise the reboot it deserves. The post-Judgment Day films had sky-high budgets, demanding increasingly hefty box office returns just to break even. Sure, merchandise and other revenue streams helped, adding hundreds of millions to the pot, but let's be real, a 2003 release, even one starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, shouldn't be sporting a $170 million budget, equivalent to a hefty $275 million in today's dollars. In my humble opinion, aiming for a $120 to $150 million budget range for the franchise is just right, with marketing costs capped at a cool $80 to $100 million and making the most of earned media, viral marketing, and other creative strategies. A TV series with a solid $10 to $12 million episode budget for eight episode seasons could deliver top-notch storytelling and visual excitement without breaking the bank. So here's the lowdown on where the movie series went a bit off track. The first two flicks were spot on with their mind-blowing special effects, but here's the kicker. Those effects were like the sidekick to an awesome story. The story took the lead and the visuals just pumped it up even more, hitting us right in the feels. It wasn't about showing off cool effects. They were more like tools to make the story pop. But then came the later movies, and it's like they got carried away with coming up with wild things for Terminators to do and crazy action sequences. It felt like they wrote a story just to fit those in, losing the charm that made the series click with us and tap into our deepest fears. The more they strayed from mixing the fantastical with our everyday lives, the less interested we became. It's like they forgot what drew us in, that magical touch in the midst of our regular, real-world struggles. The movies lost their connection to our world and the stuff we deal with as a society. It's a bummer, really. So picture this. The world's dealing with a bunch of heavy stuff right now, rising authoritarianism, potential world wars, a pesky pandemic, and a growing gap between the rich and the rest of us. Sounds eerily familiar, doesn't it? Almost like the backdrop of those Terminator films that hit it big back in the day. Now, if we're talking about a reboot, let's take a closer look at what made the early Terminators tick and how it connects to today's chaos. Think about other shows like The Walking Dead that use sci-fi and horror to tap into our fears and challenges. They manage to blend the fantastical with the real world, making it all strangely relatable. The Sarah Connor Chronicles spin-off did it well too, making us feel the tension in our own ordinary lives. So, if the Terminator's making a comeback, maybe it's time to rewind and start from the beginning. What went down before Skynet went all self-aware and triggered a nuclear war? Imagine the chaos as humans tried to make sense of it all while machines took over factories and started plotting our doom. I'm talking about diving deep into the days leading up to Skynet's awakening, the skepticism from some characters, the race against time to stop the impending disaster. Show us how Skynet, in its own robotic way, felt threatened by us and took matters into its own hands, a self-fulfilling prophecy of doom. Now, let's get real with the details. 
Think hyper-realistic scenes of Skynet using drones and robot warfare disrupting our leadership and kicking off a global nuclear war. Throw in some secret military missions and satellites armed with nukes. You know, spice things up a bit. Fast forward a few years into a near future setting and imagine a high-tech AI system borrowing its name from the UK's Skynet military satellite system. Picture advanced military robots, the real ones we've seen lately, and some fictionalized versions causing all sorts of chaos. This presents an excellent opportunity for an engaging high-tech political thriller narrative, transitioning into a disaster apocalypse scenario and eventually delving into full-blown horror and sci-fi storytelling. I believe this storytelling approach would be most effective as a comprehensive streaming series, perhaps an eight-episode miniseries, concluding with a nuclear war. This could seamlessly pave the way for the release of the initial Terminator movie, set in our present time before the Skynet takeover, featuring a cyborg sent from the future to hunt down and eliminate Sarah Connor, albeit with a fresh twist to the tale. Continuing with the streaming show concept, it serves as an additional marketing strategy and build-up for a new Terminator movie series. It also establishes subsequent seasons that can continue unfolding the history of post-war humanity and Skynet, gradually building the background and world as the movies release periodically to introduce new chapters in the inevitable time travel events. The objective is to carefully outline the main stories and their evolution through each series and film, leading to a convergence of the series catching up with the movies after a few seasons. To elaborate, the series would eventually feature a season depicting Kyle Reese being sent back in time to protect Sarah Connor. It would be a remarkable idea to plan the series meticulously enough that scenes with Kyle could be filmed concurrently with the production of the first movie, creating a seamless alignment. Furthermore, there is an opportunity to explore intriguing concepts related to time travel, quantum mechanics, the many worlds theory, and other nuances in the long-form series, while the films concentrate on intimate stories involving the central characters within an otherwise ordinary modern world unprepared for the shocking truths brought by Sarah and her son. The films naturally give rise to numerous questions about the nature of reality within the series and time loops. Therefore, the suggestion is to purposefully let the films pose these questions while the streaming show addresses and provides canonical answers, or, at times, suggests theories that may or may not always be accurate, allowing the audience to fill in many of the gaps themselves based on what they believe is most likely true. Understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each medium, streaming series and theatrical releases permits the fine-tuning of how the stories are told differently but consistently in each format. This allows for an emphasis on their unique strengths and optimization of elements that have the broadest appeal to viewers in each setting. It is essential, however, to avoid losing sight of Terminator's primary narrative direction and appeal by venturing too close to the questions and ideas explored in the Matrix franchise. While Skynet is a captivating backstory for a long-form series, it may be less effective for feature films, where a shorter runtime and the need to cater to diverse audiences make it preferable to stay focused on the original concept of a machine from the future haunting the streets of everyday life. Reserve the deeper AI tech thriller narrative for a medium that can afford the thorough attention it deserves, making it feel authentic and ensuring a significant payoff. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. See you at the next one.